Hey, what's up guys, it's Gage from ARG, and today we're going to be talking about this brand new Monarch support, which is coming out in the Monarch structure deck, eventually for the OCG, I'm not exactly sure the right date, but uh, these three cards that we actually just got revealed are really, really good, like I'm really excited for them, I don't think we'll get them in the TCG for a long while, but that doesn't matter, the cards themselves are very good, and I'm going to take you through all three of them, but uh, we have two monsters and a spell. Uh, as always, for the people that are just turning in to watch, you guys can see the effect on the screen, but for the people that are just tuning in to listen, I will read it off for you guys. We have Aether the Heaven Monarch. It's a level 8 light fairy type effect monster. Uh, you can tribute summon this card by tribute summoning, tributing one tribute summon monster. And if this card is tribute summoned, you can send two different monarch spell or trap cards from your hand or deck to the graveyard. And if you do, special summon from your deck one monster with 2400 or higher attack and 1000 defense, but return it to the hand during the end phase. And its second effect is if this card is in your hand during your opponent's main phase, you can banish one monarch spell or trap card from your graveyard. And immediately after this effect resolves, tribute summon this card. This card here, uh, the mechanics behind it and just really how it works is really, really neat. I really like it. I like the fact that during your opponent's main phase, you're able to banish a monarch spell or trap from the graveyard. And then you're able to tribute summon the card, not just straight special summon it. So it does get its tribute summon effect where you essentially just banish... Uh, you send two Monarch Spell or Traps from your hand or deck to the graveyard. I don't know why you'd send them from hand, that's just a bad idea, but you can send them from your deck to the graveyard to special summon a a big Monarch or a regular Monarch for free from your deck, and it comes back to the hand during your, like, during the end of the turn. So, if you special summon, like, a Caius or something, and it manages to stick because you did special summon this on your opponent's turn, if the 2400 body sticks, uh, you're able to bounce that back to your hand and then have it for next turn to tribute summon. So it's a French, it's essentially a free search if you look at it that way. But even just the summoning condition itself is way out of the box and it's really easy to accomplish too. And having a 2800 body that you just special summon on your opponent's turn gets kind of difficult to get around, especially if we're talking like first turn or something, if you manage to have a monarch spell or trap in your grave at that point. Um, I also like that you don't have to have that stupid trap card. Uh, I forget what it's called, but it's like the continuous trap where you're allowed to tribute summon during your opponent's main phase for it, or battle phase, it's one of those two. I like how you don't have to have that to be able to summon this thing, you can just straight up special summon it during your opponent's main phase. So if they don't play any back row or something, you're guaranteed to get a pretty awesome effect to go off at that point. So I really like this, but it also works really, really well in tandem with the other support cards, surprise, surprise, that are uh, released with this. Um, so let's move swiftly on to the next one. It's one of the vassals. If you, it, I don't think it actually has the name vassal, but uh, I have the vassals up for here for you guys. They're all the, like the little mini monarchs, as people have been calling them. But this is uh, Idea the Heaven Knight. It's a level one light warrior type effect monster, 800 attack, 1,000 at defense which is essentially the stats on all the Vassal monsters. You can use only each effect of Idea the Heaven Knight once per turn. Its first effect is, if this card is normal or special summon, you can activate the effect. You cannot special mon summon monsters from your extra deck for the rest of the turn, that doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, also, special summon from your deck one monster with 800 attack and 1000 defense except Idea the Heaven Knight. So it special summons from your deck for free, any of the Vassal monsters. It could be the Earth one, the the Dark one, there's another Dark one that was released in this, not just the Caius one. So there's a whole bunch of targets you can get, and there's a whole bunch of synergy that can really go on there. Like the Storm uh, Vassal was the one that has been talked about the most, because it is the best one. You're able to get that, and then as we can see here, when it's Tribute Summon, you can add one monster with 800 attack and 1000 defense from your deck to your hand, except the Storm one, so you're able to not only tribute this fella here, I'll pull it up for you guys, this fella here, but once you tribute him off to uh, summon a another monarch from your hand, you're able to search for another copy of this guy if you really want to, or any of the, the other vassals that you may play. This is definitely one of the ones that I think is absolutely mandatory to play as the vassal, because it just seems like it's really that good to be able to keep cycling and getting more vassals on your field, so you're able to have that tribute fodder to uh, bring out the monarchs. And the second effect is, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one of your banished monarch spell or trap cards and add it to your hand. You can banish one monarch spell or trap, so you will have one banished for this guy here. But it actually, that's not all you can banish the spells or traps with, because the next card here, which is the spell card of all of them, uh, the Pandetti Monarchs, it's a normal spell card, and its effect is, uh, you can send one Monarch spell or trap card from your hand to the graveyard and draw two cards, and you can banish this card from your graveyard, reveal three Monarch spell or trap cards from your deck, have your opponent choose one and add it to your hand, also shuffle the others into your deck. So this is kind of like Tenacity of the Monarchs, but Tenacity of the Monarchs allows you to definitely have an insurance of what you're a pick, 
but the insurance doesn't matter because if you play three copies of any monarch spell you're able to literally pick all three and have, say hey opponent pick one of the three but they're all the same so they're you're regardless you're going to get one of those copies to the hand so if you do play three copies that is a pretty cool thing to do otherwise it's like kind of a painful choice it doesn't send a grave but it, it, it's kind of like a painful choice where your opponent will be able to choose which goes to your hand and it's a fact that you can banish from your graveyard just gets this back into the banish zone which we already said you can get back with this guy idea the heaven knight so there's a whole bunch of synergy going on just between the three cards themselves but if we really uh blow it out and move, look at the rest of the entire deck there's a whole bunch that this deck can do um you're able to add your return of the monarchs or just tenacity to the monarchs so if you reveal three tenacity and your opponent gives you one tenacity you activate that tenacity and then you pick what you want so there's a whole bunch you can do with all of these cards here uh, giving some draw support is really neat too because then it gives you some of the choice spells or traps that you can get rid of from your hand and then banish with this guy and then get him back with this guy it's just a whole bunch just between the three cards and i love it these cards are very awesome i love the artwork of all of them they look really really nice and then just the synergy they all have together just it, it, it really is awesome so yeah uh let me know down below in the comment section below what you guys think of these cards uh do you think they'll actually do anything uh, sure to let me know, but if you guys like the video, be sure to like the video, thumbs up the video, however long express you enjoyed the video. If you guys want to buy or sell product, attend high level events, or read articles from the toppest of top of players, all three out of games.com is your place to go check out. Be sure to like our Facebook fan page and subscribe to our Twitch stream if you haven't already. But as always, I thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Gage from ARG, signing out.